Hey guys, welcome back. And today I wanted to quickly discuss the top five Linux VPN services available today. Some services with graphical user interfaces and other services with simply command line interfaces. So we'll be taking a look at those and briefly just talk about the features. But if you're interested in the pricing, discounts or full on reviews, you'll find everything you need in the description down below. Okay, let's start with ExpressVPN. And ExpressVPN is gonna have a command line interface, but if you're looking for more of a GUI experience, then you can get the browser extension for Chrome, Firefox, or Edge on your Linux. And ExpressVPN is going to be the best option if you're looking for the strictest no logs policy, especially if you're in a censorship heavy country and if you're just looking for an easy VPN to use with over 3000 servers in 94 countries, and you'll be able secure up to five devices per subscription security and privacy wise i think expressvpn is overall number one in the entire industry uh, but again if you're looking for a gui you're going to have to use a browser extension and with a browser extension you're only going to be able to secure your browser and not your entire device Otherwise, if you're comfortable with the command line interface, then you can go with ExpressVPN. Next up is going to be NordVPN. NordVPN also only has a command line interface, just like Express. But the cool thing about NordVPN is that it's going to be the best option if you're looking for a whole lot of features for a very reasonable price. You're going to be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. You've got over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. It's a great VPN overall, especially when it comes to very high performance. It's got the Nord Lynx protocol, which is going to be the best protocol, making NordVPN arguably the fastest VPN in the business. Now, if you're looking for the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the necessary features, you've got over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, and you get a GUI with Surfshark in case you're wondering. Uh, now, next up is going to be CyberGhost. CyberGhost is going to be the best budget VPN uh, that has a lot of servers and is very good at accessing streaming services. But unfortunately, if you're looking for all the extra features that you usually get with Nord VPN and Surfshark, you're not going to get them with CyberGhost, but it is very budget friendly. Um, you don't have a GUI, you just have a command line interface, but it has a lot of servers in 91 countries, and you'll be able to secure up to seven devices per subscription. And if I haven't mentioned already with Surfshark, you'll be able to secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription, which makes it a very attractive choice for most people. And the final option today is going to be private internet access, which is also going to give you a GUI, even if you're on Linux, which is a great bonus. You've got about 10,000 servers in about 80 countries, and it's gonna be the best option if you're looking for a budget-friendly VPN. Does not necessarily work very well with accessing streaming services, but it does have a whole lot of bonus features, even more than NordVPN, such as granular control over your protocols and what kind of encryption you wanna use, and a bunch of other options that can be very useful. So that's pretty much it for this video. Overall, all these are the best five VPNs in the business, not just for Linux, but for all other devices, really. They're top performers in terms of the privacy policy, speed, streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. And again, if you're interested in links to pricing discounts or full reviews, you'll find everything you need in the description down below. And they're all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason. CyberGhost is covered by a 45 day money back guarantee. So plenty of time to test those out. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.